Mortgage interest rates hit 8%, and the bubble boys must be ecstatic about this. I mean, come on. The bottom is falling out of real estate. At least that's what people want you to believe. And of course, it didn't help that Adam put out their report at the same time saying that foreclosures are up 34%. Yikes, right? I mean, I'm thinking as a home buyer that I should be sitting on the sidelines because if the bottom is going to fall out, I don't want to be getting into the market just yet. And as a seller, maybe I'm starting to freak out. If I've been wanting to sell my home, I'm going to put it on the market. I'm going to discount it, which is going to further propagate a drop in prices. I mean, this is where the head goes of buyers and sellers when they hear news like that. Well, I wanted to back the train up for just a minute and talk about what's really happening in the strength of the housing market, because you can see massively big clickbait headlines like this and dive down into the deep end, or you can read the article, see where things are actually going, knowing the underlying strength of the real estate market. So before we dive into the details, my name is Nicole Ruth. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, liked or comment on this video, please do. We're continuing to put out mortgage, real estate, and economic news that's going to help you become a smarter buyer and seller in this market. So fact number one, down buried deep below the fact that foreclosures are up 34%, from historic bottom is the fact that delinquencies are only up 3%, which is a near historic low. So if you think of a homeowner, they first have to become late on their mortgage payment. That's defined as a delinquency. And then only after they're late several months in a row does the current mortgage holder get involved and even start foreclosure proceedings. Only 3% of nationwide homeowners are in a delinquent status. That is extremely healthy. Here in Colorado, it's 1.7%. And do you remember the term forbearances? We haven't talked about that in a while. That's where homeowners were allowed to no longer make their mortgage payment because of the difficulties that we saw during the pandemic. Those are all but gone. So homeowners are making their mortgage payments. They're making them regularly, except for those 3%. And a very small fraction of those are going into foreclosure. We also have to note that 38% of all owner-occupied homes are paid free and clear. That leaves only 62% who even have a mortgage. 90% of those have an interest rate under 6%. 80% of them have an interest rate under 5%. You talk about stability. There's no reason that they're going to give up that mortgage and give up that home and become homeless or become a renter and lose that home to foreclosure or flood the market with more inventory. Right now, in fact, we're seeing very low inventory based on the fact that sellers are holding on tight. And why not hold on tight? Do you know how much equity is in the housing market right now? Right now, we have $31 trillion in homeowner equity in our owner-occupied homes. In fact, that gives us a loan-to-value of 29%. So that means of the 62% of homes that have a mortgage, they have 71% equity in their homes on average. That massive equity wealth is going to continue to sustain the real estate market even when interest rates are going up and we know we're heading towards an economic slowdown. We will continue to see turbulence. We will continue to see headlines that are clickbait. But bottom line, the housing market has such a foundational strength that homeowners simply need to stay put. So what I would ask is, who is your resource? Is it the person that understands deeply the data and provides the channels for success? Or is it the news channels who want to clickbait you into creating more fear? Well, that's a wrap for today. So if you've got any questions, please start the conversation down in the comments below. I'd love to get engaged and I'd love to connect with you soon.